Hey everybody, welcome back to Sam Can Do. I'm a mama maker, I'm a Glowforge enthusiast, and I'm here to show you how to make the simplest, easiest ever light up sign. Um, okay, it's not gonna look very cool under these fancy lights, but I will show you. Before I say anything, I need all of you to subscribe, to like, and to leave a comment. Just say, hey Sam, why are you so pushy about leaving comments? I'm trying to grow my channel. I very much appreciate it. I appreciate the support as a businesswoman in America. Thank you. So this is a project that is probably one of the easiest things that you could make on a Glowforge. Super straightforward, very simple. And I feel like it has like a little, like, it feels like you're being extra and doing something really cool, but you're really being, it's, it's very easy. Um, so I'm gonna walk you step-by-step step on how I made mine, but honestly, you could recreate um, this in a hundred different ways. You could do a hundred different designs and, uh, Let's not waste any time. Here's how I made it. Number one, I went to Creative Market, one of my favorite places to find designs because at the end of the day, I don't need to be original. I just need to do things <laughs> because I love Creative Market. It goes to paying artists. It's something that I know is royalty free and I didn't have to sit down and try to make it myself just for the virtue of it. Um, so I looked up a Sabuki Boys because I wanted something with um, like skeletons, um, things like that. And this pack that I found is so cute. I have a ton, I have one other project I know that I wanna make with this, um, but I'm very excited. So I chose this very special rose one um, and all I had to do was like download it get the PNG and then drag and drop it right into Glowforge. The only thing I had to do was cut this um, this shape, this little, I guess, what is this? Like a lollipop, 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 a lollipop shape or a ball with this. Um, and the, the weird thing is, is that this opening is like three and a quarter inches, but like just a scotch under a quarter. So I went just a scotch under a quarter when I sized it up. Um, but yeah, threw this in the Glowforge. Now, if you'll notice, I made this one a little crooked, um, but it's super simple. So all I had to do was get my original acrylic, medium acrylic, put it in the Glowforge, cut at 130 speed, full power, engrave at whatever the proof grave engra engraving is, and then boom. Take it out, stick it inside. Hey, it's me, Editing Sam. I really don't feel like I explained what these are. These are the bases. This is what makes it light up. Basically, you put batteries in here, and then it's a touch activated. That's why you see me touching it, and these LED lights illuminate the sign you made. I hope that makes it clear. These are on Amazon, I'll link them down below. Now, some way cooler ideas that um, you might wanna make are maybe like some words, like you could make it like a shape around the words, like on air, do not disturb, um, shine your light, whatever, you know, crap, inspirational crap that you guys want to put on your signs. Um, but that's how I wanted to do this. You could do something for a kid, do a little nightlight situation. Um, but it is so stinking easy. One thing I will say is that the, the more engraving you have, the more light you use to the top. And so the less engraving, the better, or if it's just like simple, but these are gonna look best obviously in a dark room. You can see where it's all bright in here. It's not really as impressive, but I promise you when you get this in the dark, it looks really cool. Well, this is a super short, easy tutorial. I hope that this was helpful and, um, yeah, come check me out on the next one. I'm gonna be doing more of these super short tutorials as well as trying out some of the Glowforge catalog pieces and making them together. Thanks so much for watching. Hope that y'all have um, a great day.